And today I will tell you about logarithmic. Okay, what is the meaning of logarithm? And what are the uses of logarithm? And uh, what are the rules? That means what are the theorems on logarithms? And everything I will tell you. And uh, not in one class, 5 to 6 classes it may take. Okay, so today I will tell you simply the definition and uh, some problems using definitions. Okay, not the theorems. Only by using the definitions, how to solve some of the problems on logarithmic. Okay, so let us say, what is the meaning of logarithm? Actually, why you are using logarithm? Without logarithm, we can solve. We can solve. Okay, so why it is necessary to use logarithm? And in physics, chemistry, mathematics, economics, and uh, in BTEC also, in each and every case, in each and every subject, you are using logarithm. Why? Because see here, if the power is very large, if the base is very large, if the power is a irrational number, then how to solve it? We cannot solve in a normal way very easily. And um, we are using logarithm in order to solve it very very easily. Very easily. You cannot imagine uh, how it will become easy. Okay, so instead of 10 minutes, it can take 1 minute. Okay, so and uh, better if the base is very large or if the power is rational or irrational or very complicated or the power is very large, then if you use logarithmic, that will be very very easy. In some cases, you want to use the logarithmic table and in some cases, table is not necessary. Okay, so what is the definition of logarithm? See here. A is a positive real number other than 1 base cannot be equal to 1 ok, I will tell you later on and uh, X is any rational number So, a to the power x is equal to n. a is any real number, positive real number other than 1 and x is any rational number. So, this can be written as in logarithmic form as log of n to the base a is equal to n, is equal to x. Log of n to the base a is equal to x. And in complete sentence, we can say logarithmic of n to the base a is equal to x. Here also base is a. In this also, in logarithm also, the base should be a. Only the power goes to here. That means simply, listen the definition. That means, if log of n to the base a is equal to x, then a to the power x is equal to n. a to the power x is equal to n. Clear? So, remember, a to the power x is equal to n means log n to the base a is equal to x. And while converting from exponential to logarithm, you should apply log of n to the base a is equal to x. And from logarithm to exponential, we can write a to the power x is equal to n. Clear? So, I am giving some examples. See here. 2 to the power 5, that means express in logarithmic forms. So, how to write a logarithmic form? So, first question 2 to the power 5 is equal to 32. So, how to write? I have told you log of 32 to the base 2 is equal to 5. Because 2 to the power 5 is equal to 32. Clear? Again, another question 10 to the power 3 is equal to 1000. So, it implies log of 1000 to the base 10 is equal to 3. Another question, 3 to the power 4 is equal to 81. That means we can write log of 81 to the base 3 is equal to 4. Another question, see here, 7 to the power 0 is equal to 1. That means log 1 to the base 7 is equal to 0. 
that means log of 1 to any base log of 1 to any base is equal to 0 clear this one that means so we can write a to the power 0 is equal to 1 so it implies log of 1 to the base a is equal to 0 so that means here a is any base any positive real number I told you other than 1 a positive real number other than 1 a so log of 1 to the base a already I have told you what is the base base is a positive real number other than 1 it cannot be negative it cannot be 0 it cannot be 1 ok so now let us see I have told you how to express exponential to logarithmic by the definition of logarithmic. Now, see here, very important, a to the power 1 is equal to a. That means, log of a to the base a is equal to 1. This point is very important. That means, log of 2 to the base 2 is equal to 1. Log of 7 to the base 7 is equal to 1. If both are same, then the answer will be 1. Log 13 to the base 13 is equal to 1. Clear? So now, how to find out the value? Find the value. Using the definition. First question. Log 81 to the base 9. I told you, a to the power which quantity should be equal to n? a to the power x is equal to n. That means 9 to the power something must be equal to 81. So 9 to the power how much will be equal to 81? 2. Because 9 square is 81. Okay. So another question. Log 4 base is root 2. So if I say, see here, another way I am telling you, let it be x. That means 9 to the power x is equal to 81. 81 is 9 square. So, 9 to the power x is equal to 9 square. So, x is equal to 2. So, here the x value is 2. And then, log 4 to the base root 2 is equal to x. And you want to find out the value of x. So, root 2 to the power x is equal to 4. That means 2 to the power square root means half. So, it will be x by 2 it is equal to 4 means 2 square. So it implies base is same, so power must be equal. So x by 2 is equal to 2. Clear? So it implies x is equal to 4. Okay. So now you can do like this. And the question is here. Log base 2 it is 1 by 32. So let it be x. So how to find out the value of x here? That means 2 to the power x is equal to 1 by 32. Okay. So 1 by 32 is 1 by 2 to the power 5. Clear. So take it to the numerator. It will be 2 to the power minus 5. So 2 to the power x is equal to 2 to the power minus 5. So x is equal to how much? Minus 5. Okay. So likewise you can find out the value of logarithm. Now. See here, another time, log x to the base 2 is equal to 3. So what is the value of x? I have told you 2 to the power 3 is equal to x. That means x is equal to 2 to the power 3 and which is equal to 8. Another question similarly, log x to the base 81 is equal to 3 by 2. So how to find out? That means x is equal to 81 to the power 3 by 2. And 81 is 3 to the power or you may write 9 square. 9 square to the power 3 by 2. So 2 to cancel out, it is 9 to the power 3. So now you can find out the value. Okay. So see here. I am going to do some problems. Slightly, you want to apply the brain. If 
log of y to the base 10 is equal to x, find 10 to the power 2x in terms of y. You have to expect 10 to the power 2x in terms of y. See here, log of y to the base 10 is equal to x. That means 10 to the power x is your y. 10 to the power x is equal to y. So this is your given condition. Now, 10 to the power 2x. This can be written as 10 to the power x whole square. I can write like this. And what is 10 to the power x? 10 to the power x is y. So answer is y square. So the value of 10 to the power 2x is y square. Clear. Actually, very very interesting. This problem, sir. So, and why I will apply the theorems, it will be very much interesting for you. If log y to the base 3 is equal to x and log z to the power base 2 is equal to x, then find 72 to the power x in terms of y and z. You have to express 72 to the power x in terms of y and z. See here. Given log y to the base 3 is equal to x. That means y is equal to 3 to the x. y is equal to 3 to the x. Okay. Log z to the base 2 is equal to x. That means z is equal to 2 to the power x. Very nice form. Y is equal to 2 to the power x. And z is equal to 2 to the power x. 3 to the power x. Here 2 to the power x. Now you want to find out 72 to the power x. Now let us see here. 72 it is 2. Then 36. Then 2. It is 18. Then 2. It is 9. Then 3. It is 3. That means 2 to the power 3 into 3 to the power 2 to the power x. Very nice form. 2 to the power 3 to the power x into 3 to the power 2 to the power x. And this can be written as 2 to the power x to the power 3 I can write. And 3 to the power x to the power 2 I can write. Is that clear to you? So 2 to the power x is equal to z. This is z cube. 3 to the power x is y. So y square, aha, uh -huh. very interesting form. That means 72 to the power x is equal to z to the power 3 into y to the power 2. z cube y square, this is the answer. So, very interesting actually. If you apply the logarithmic theorems in my next class, I will tell you how to apply the theorems. And uh, today I have told you only how to apply the definitions. And in the description also I will give you some problems. And if you do those problems, it will be better for you. Okay. So, I hope you have got some idea about logarithm. Is that clear to you? Because uh, basically those who have come from CBSC background, in straight board logarithm is there, in ICC syllabus logarithm is there, but in CBSC board there is no logarithm. So it will be better if you go through in detail. Because in physics, in the, from the very beginning, in unidimensional logarithm is necessary. In chemistry also logarithm is there and in mathematics also logarithm is there. Okay. So please kindly go through the logarithm, these formulas, see, see the definition and please do the questions which I have given in the description. Okay. Bye bye.